Oh, that's your own tail. My dude, that's your tail. I was like, you're going to wear so sorry. Sorry. I was like, you're the best. Seeing I was like, oh shit, didn't mean to say concert. Um, I've seen a musical, I've seen and Julia. Well, I'm over there because it's, I'm really excited to see it and it's showing while I am gonna be there. So why not? Seeing things the same night as a con is like kind of risky. Cause like most cons finish at like five and shows don't happen till like seven, but like depending on like where the theater is versus where the cosplay is, do I have time to get out of cosplay? You know, those things. Forgot about the party, but we love the party ponies just showing up at the end. Okay, Pace is having a bath now, so he can continue to do that off camera. That's fine. Yell at me when we want me to read. <laughs> I feel like I've been chatting too long and being annoying, but I also just haven't been here for a week. So I do like to catch up. Give America to get its follower. Like, on concerts or musicals. Yeah, I would. See, I, I still sometimes complain about like Adelaide, but we've actually, we've improved a lot lately. We used to not get musicals here ever. We now get most shows, so like musicals done. We get some concerts, we still get skipped over a lot, but we get more than you guys, so I'm not gonna complain about that. You can do camera blessings for that, I'm so sorry. You guys, it's very, you have like nicer scenery. It's really pretty in this video. <laughs> Thank you for sending roses, like, not that you ever have to, but. No, we're doing, we'll be yelling at you. You can, you so can. Rainbow of Olympus. We're doing Percy Jackson's Greek Gods now. Um, and we're doing Persephone today. I love it. I'm sending it right back, my love. Hey, hi. So I'm British. I'm Australian, but half my family is British. So my accent might have My gran had a really strong English accent and she like raised me. So I'm sure I picked up some things from her. <laughs> expensive to go to Melbourne. See, that is one good thing about Adelaide is it's not too expensive to go to Melbourne where they have a lot of things. It's pretty, if you want to do like Perth was expensive. I went to Perth last year. I loved it there, but that was a more expensive trip to take. So that's not one you can do frequently. Um, uh, Brisbane from memory was more expensive. I can't remember Sydney. I did book a trip to Sydney that didn't end up happening and I got refunded and everything, but I can't remember how much that actually cost me. I go over for Supernova. I am just staying with a friend. Thank you for sending me your cranes. So it was only flights, which flights from Adelaide to Melbourne, if you time it right, are not too bad. Okay, sort of thank you. That's hey, thank you. You're gonna do Can Chronicles at some point, yes, but I want to do reading vlogs for them first. That's the bestie. Month is going one and soccer through. Oh, we're pros. Love that. Oh my, what it? It's just we love. I don't know which are fun. What's happening here? Good question. You're inside. We are. Early morning, but carry on only the boys. Kind of, oh, that's fair. That's fair. And carry on only is like, what if you're going for a little bit longer? I mean, like, again, same here. If you get like a red eyes, they're always going to be the most affordable things. That's how I afforded Perth. Got a red eye there and back. Um, but I mean, like, carry on is like, what if you need more things if you're staying longer? Of course. No, so Betty from her. Oh god, that's fair. That's fair. It's the ponytail too. Is probably adding to that. Sure. <laughs> 
I'm gonna get out some of the light. Oh, I'm not happy about it. I, we know, I think, uh, that I'm not a fan of live action adaptations of animated films ever, really. Um, I don't. Recent animated films. I think the only times you can justify them is if you are remaking something where it's like very old and like maybe you need to adapt it for it to relate to a modern audience. Maybe you need to do a new version in order for it to relate and so you're going to remake it and you choose to do it in live action because it's cheaper and takes less time. Um, but I don't like, like How to Train a Dragon, that, those films only finished a couple years ago. Like that is a very new franchise and they are already some of the most cinematic films that you can create. They are critically acclaimed, audiences love them. They are beautiful masterpieces on their own. There is no need for you to adapt or change them at all. And the only reason they're kind of doing it is because Hollywood sees live action as a more um, profitable and um, kind of source of filmmaking and animation is still looked down upon as a medium because it's looked down upon as like a kid's thing or something that, you know, um, can't be uh, critically acclaimed. Guillermo del Toro has talked a lot about um, like the integrity and the filmmaking aspect of animation lately and I really love that and no one has been listening to him. Um, and I just don't like, it. I also think it's stupid because like I don't think you can do those films without like one you you will have to make toothless look like terrifying and weird and i don't want that i don't think you can really have hiccup exist without like i'm not happy about it do you like chicken loose does anyone not i mean like vegetarians i guess but i like chicken so yes Look at me, I think he was saying that. Percy, Jason, Leo, Grover, Annabeth. Annabeth. She wins. She can hold her own in a fight with all the others with no powers. And so, that's all I'm saying. The elitism against animation. It's a very real thing and it's a very upsetting thing. Um, I'm obviously biased because I want to write an animated film someday and animation is probably... Um, uh, is it? I don't know. I just like film, but I really, I really love animation and especially like Western media and American kind of central media. We really look down upon animation um, and we really treat it as this, you know, I don't think it should even have its own category at the Oscars. I'll be honest. I think animated features should just be allowed to be nominated for best picture. Um, it's just another way of creating a film and it's a more impressive way of creating a film and there really is this cultural kind of consensus that it's um just it has less integrity than something like